What's up guys, welcome back. Casey here with Max Aroma, your number one destination for fragrances on the low. Now today we are discussing Eternity Intense 4-Man Calvin Klein. We have it right here. And we've tried this fragrance out for a span of 48 hours. This is the 6.7 fluid ounce 200 ml bottle. As you can see, this has no actual cap, so the spray is right here. As you can see, so the system is pretty simple. Um, the glass is pretty heavy, obviously, because it's a 6.7 fluid um, ounce bottle. Now, let's go uh, towards the scent description. The scent overall has that note of iris. I mentioned it was um, black pepper, but it's actually white pepper that they use in this fragrance. The rhubarb is pretty uh, noticeable. The woody notes as well, and uh, the vetiver and lavender are quite noticeable as well, as um, the bergamot and grapefruit are slightly noticeable in the introductory notes, like in the top notes, right when you spray it, you can smell those hints. And from time to time, you get a whiff as well. But overall, you're gonna get that fresh, spicy, aromatic, woody, um, with slight powdery and floral vibe from this overall fragrance. Now in terms of longevity, what you should expect for this fragrance is about four to six hours. Now I, that's a decently wide range, but it just depends on the climate and what you're wearing in terms of clothing as well as how your skin reacts to this. So uh, two examples, since I tried this over two days, in Texas we had two different climates that I tried this in. One was cold, one was warmer. Now through the warmer climate I had a much better experience in terms of scent development, smelling the um, breakdown of the scent so you can just feel the transition of the fragrance and overall it was more um, present in terms of fragrance wise whereas in the winter time it was a little neutral and muted so I couldn't really feel like there I, ha I was wearing fragrance unless I you know I moved around my neck or I felt these slight whiffs from time to time. Now in terms of projection, projection this fragrance did not really project whatsoever really. Um, I think it really just sits really tight to the body. It's really 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 low projection so I would not even say half maybe even half a feet it sits really really close to your body maybe even just the skin scent I would probably say because I was just sm smelling it from time to time when I you know uh, move my neck from here to left to right or whatnot and it was maybe applied on my um, neck and it rubbed onto my clothing so I can smell it a little better and this is after three sprays so keep in mind both for longevity and projection I sprayed once on the neck here once on the neck here and the back of my neck so that's with three sprays and this is a pretty big spray as you can see um, it has a pretty nice range of um, area that it affects but the overall fragrance itself as I said is quite light in terms of both longevity and projection. Now in terms of seasonal use, I would recommend this for a summertime, even though many have meant, um, like if you go online, you're gonna see it's like winter, fall, summer, and spring. Many have mentioned that they you can use this for, but I would just say keep this for spring and summertime. Warmer the weather, this is gonna perform much better just because it's gonna be um, kind of pushing the fragrance to develop if you put it into pulse points mostly. This has these um, notes like bergamot, grapefruit, the uh, vetiver and um, iris are gonna definitely show out. Fresh spicy notes always are wonderful for the summertime in my opinion. Now in terms of recommended setting, I would state that this is perfect for the office. Honestly, this is such a nice light scent but it's also masculine and clean kind of and at the same time it's a bold clean you know it's like fresh spicy but it's not too bold in your face so it's very um how to say it's a neutral fragrance and it's not strong whatsoever so after the span of maybe four or five hours like i said depending on the climate that you're using this fragrance it's gonna wear off and you'll be fine so it's a great office scent i would probably recommend this for casual settings as well if you want just like a cheap fragrance you know that that's used for any kind of setting or um, just something that's light and nothing too crazy this is definitely one worth trying out Calvin Klein usually has these um, 
how to say easy versatile fragrances you know the way you can use them for most settings and it'll be fine but it's not wow now that's all that we have for eternity for man intense by Calvin Klein make sure to check out our January giveaway it is still going on up till the 28th so make sure to check that out I believe that should be yeah so we have about four days left until we close that down so make sure to check out the um, description so I will have both link and and the instructions to how you can join that giveaway and it's a pocket perfume we got three per fragrances going for um, this month so make sure to check that out major major awesomeness so check, make sure to check that giveaway out, out as well that's all that we have for Calvin Klein Eternity for Man Intense. This is the intense version, although it's not that intense, but make sure to check this fragrance out. If you're looking for a light, cool, um, work-friendly fragrance, this is definitely one worth trying out. We'll see you on next Tuesday to talk about another fragrance we'll be trying out for our first impressions, and then 48 hours after we'll be giving our review on that Thursday. Also, I believe Wednesday is the first or Thursday is the first. So make sure to check out the first of February. We'll be announcing our winners of the January giveaway. So make sure to check that out as well. We'll see you next week. Let it go. Take my body go. Take our bodies high.